Working alone is common in many laboratories due to the nature of, and demands for, university research. A lone worker is a person who can neither be seen nor heard nor expect a visit from another person. Generally it's prudent to avoid working alone, but situations often arise where this cannot be avoided. This presents several obvious risks, such as the lack of help nearby in case of injury or emergency, or increased vulnerability to crime. In a single year, the University of California Riverside experienced five incidents involving people working alone. Fortunately, no one was injured. Whenever possible, those working alone should have immediate access to a phone, coordinate with another person in the building, or only engage in non-hazardous work. Because these options aren't always available, the university has engaged in a program to use technology that could help monitor workers without requiring additional resources from the laboratories. The University of California Riverside's Environmental Health and Safety instituted a lone worker program to alleviate the risks of working alone using a simple monitoring device that is worn by workers. Beacons wirelessly connect to the devices and identify the exact location of a worker by room or area within a building. These signals are monitored by university police 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If an emergency occurs, police are available to provide immediate assistance. The safety monitoring devices, or loaner SMDs, are activated by workers in one of three ways. First, by manually pulling down the latch, which causes an audible alert. Second, by pushing a white button on the device, which causes a silent alert. And third, by an automatic sensor, which causes an audible alert when a fall is detected by the built-in gyroscope and accelerometers. When activated, the devices send a signal communicating its location. This signal is picked up automatically through cellular networks by the police department. The alert is acknowledged by police through an online website, who then respond by calling the laboratory to verify that it wasn't a false alarm. If a silent alert is sent, a police officer is automatically dispatched, as the event is treated similar to a silent robbery alert. Implementing the program required planning to ensure success. It involved the teamwork and mutual cooperation of EHS, UC Police Department, laboratory workers, and facility staff. The program was introduced through a series of fact sheets, guides, meetings, and email communications. After developing resources to ensure that all parties had the visual tools they needed to use the devices, EHS was involved in device programming, providing training, and monitoring initial usage. First, the beacons were assigned to a distinct laboratory room. Beacons were positioned near laboratory exits to maximize visibility and provide consistency for maintenance. They were installed using self-adhesive Velcro so that they could easily be relocated later. These beacons were placed centrally, between rooms and within restrooms, which are common areas with the potential for an emergency to occur. Then, laboratories were trained in how to use the devices, the different types of alerts available, and how to work with police officers in case they were dispatched. Supervisors, or principal investigators, of laboratories were given the option of customizing their contact settings. Some wanted to be alerted in case of an incident, while others did not. Police dispatchers were also trained on how to acknowledge the alert remotely using a website that provided audible and visual alerts. Because these incidents might be infrequent, EHS provided a user manual with quick reference guides on what to do based on the alert type. Before implementing, the units were all tested, which involved EHS informing the police so that they were aware that the flood of alerts were anticipated. Over the period of just one month, the devices were used on average 40 times per hour. The highest use occurred in the afternoon, peaking at 3 o'clock p.m. The lowest use occurred in the early morning, between 4 o'clock a.m. and 10 o'clock a.m. Data indicates that this program is being used throughout the day, not solely during evening hours as previously expected. The program received overwhelmingly positive response. The UCR Loan Worker Program has demonstrated its value in filling a need, enabling communication, and providing a sense of security for those who require safety monitoring when working alone. In summary, working alone is not the best situation, but sometimes it's necessary. 
At all times, this should be done safely. The University of California Riverside has demonstrated that laboratory research can be supported using safety monitoring technology and cooperation in supporting loan workers so that they can access the emergency assistance they may need. This message has been brought to you by Environmental Health and Safety, helping you prevent accidents, promote your health, and protect the environment. For more information, visit ehs.ucr.edu.